So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges plus 801 and a reverse all in that order. I usually make these so that way, if you are away from the screen, you guys can have an idea of what to expect when you guys get home. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Other than that, beginning of the end, complete mission transmigration, transmigration. Am I saying that right? Either way, complete the first mission, not hard. It literally it drops you in the first mission, or I should say it lets you choose what to do in the first mission. Keep a keep a good journal. Receive the episode Echo Seasonal Artifact. Not hard. It's probably just complete the first mission and do something else. Expanding light. Defeat combatants with supers. Earn bonus progress for using Song of Flame, Twilight Arsenal, or Storm's Edge, which are the new uh, supers that we got this season specifically the light exotics or the light uh, subclasses. The longest goodbye, complete the exotic mission wild card in the pale heart. I'm going to cry. I'm probably going to cry with this one. Eyes up guardian, increase your reputation rank with ghost in the pale heart. So this is most likely going to be how we're going to be able to get the armor, the new armor for the expansion, which I'm super hyped to do. Uh, spirit guide, re recover lost ghosts and return them to the arbor of light. So collectibles. Birds of the Feather, gather a feather in the Pale Heart. Again, collectible. Pathfinder, complete Pale Heart Pathfinder finder paths. I don't know what this means. It's, I will show you Pathfinder in a bit, so that way you guys are aware, but I don't know specifically Pale Heart. <clears throat> Path to Victory, complete Pathfinder paths this season and collect their pinnacle rewards. Okay. And then Midnight Approaches, defeat Guardians with Void Damage and Crucible. Not hard at all. So, let me show you the new pinnacle stuff because i don't know how i feel about it so it's right here yes we weekly weekly complete a pathfinder path and claim the reward so we get bright dust hopefully it's the same amount as weekly because I, I don't think weeklies exist anymore so you're going to be seeing like super cult sniper rifle culmination jesus 50 sniper shots in crucible gambit or vanguard that's really cool crucible vanguard or, or gambit again uh, which is orbs of power, which is super easy. Vanguard ops, just complete three. We have Increasable Gambit or Vanguard playlist. Defeat any target with final blows with swords. Not hard. Uh, in Gambit, collect heavy ammo. And then Increasable Gambit or Vanguard playlist. Defeat any target with final blows with arcane cannons. And I'm assuming once you complete one of these, we get the brightest for it. If you complete all of these, because they should be weeklies. So therefore, if it's like what well, it should be technically it should be counting both of these as a weekly i don't know either way hopefully the brightest uh gain won't be bad but it's it's bungee so probably a titan slayer in any crucible playlist defeat titan opponents jolt to the system uh arc jolt what is this auto rifle kills uh so this is <laughs> this is like another gambit one black hole byproduct uh see defeat target defeat targets in gambit by weakening or suppressing them with void this is going to be annoying and then we have melee slayer which is six melee kills which this is what it, this probably won't be bad especially if supers count uh super debris multi kills so sniper final or sniper rifle final blows 20 okay so you got to get a total of what, 70 jesus okay and that this is only in gambit <laughs> this might not happen for some people Fallen Striker, defeat combatants in Vanguard playlist, defeat Fallen Grants, de defeating Fallen Grants, additional progress. Okay. We have Sidearm Paralyx, which is 30 sidearm kills. Grenade Striker, 20. Okay, in Vanguard. Oh, thank God. I was start I was going to trip because in, in Crucible, that would have been terrible. Elite Executioner, defeat challenging enemies in Gambit. This one's not hard at all. Uh, on Mark in Crucible. This is not bad either, especially like if you just hit your shots, this one's pretty simple. Blight Master in Vanguard playlist activities, defeat bosses, earn bonus progress for defeating taken bosses. Not hard, more annoying. And then Tactical Mastery. Uh, in Crucible Gambit or Vanguard activities, defeat targets. Competing in Crucible activities or final blows from grenades, melee, or super abilities grants the most efficient progress. And then... <clears throat> I really need to see claims requirements are not met first claim on uh, so I really want to see how much brightness we get for all of this if we even get some I don't think it, it would say rewards would be brightness so this would have to be a lot because I don't think we have bounties anymore um actually we can just check his challenges are pretty actually hold on I'm sorry I should have checked this before but I just want to double 
make sure okay so there isn't anything um, I thought there was like gonna be another screen because that's what happened last season so let me go check um, some things I also have to pick up some things because uh, yeah it's I I don't know I'm just there's a few changes here where I'm like I can okay I can fuck with it and other changes where I'm like I don't know about that one chief uh, the seasonal challenges being one of them I don't know not seasonal challenge or the uh, the Pathfinder I don't know if Pathfinder is going to be good or bad. Uh, specifically because... Oh, is this the new submachine gun? Oh, okay. So we just... Okay. Duh. <sighs> okay. While this weapon is equipped, taking damage increases handling and aim assist until the weapon is stowed. Taking more damage increases the effect. All right. Uh, I sound disappointed because I kind of am. I'm not a fan of this uh, model. That being said, oh, it doesn't have, okay, that's kind of fucking doo-doo butter. Um, yeah, this is the model, this is the sub submachine gun, or at least it looks like the submachine gun model from uh, from Season of the Worthy. I don't think it is, but it looks slightly the, the same. Um, let's go, oh, can I focus something real? I can focus this, wow. Okay, I'm gonna focus that for sure. Um, Sorry, I'm just looking. Sorry, I'm just I've 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 not checked everything in the game yet, so I'm just kind of like hungry to see more. So yeah, they don't have the weeklies for these anymore, which is where you would get your bright dust. You only have it for him, which he doesn't even give you bright dust at all, and no bright dust for either. So yeah, I I don't know how I feel about that. If I'm being quite honest, just because again, each of those bright dusts were like 150 each. So 450 50 in total, not even mentioning the repeatables that you would do. So with the repeatables, if you did all five of them, that's an extra 150. So what the five is, so yeah. So like 600 bright dust per character, which is 1800 in total for the week, which is why I'm kind of like not disappointed, but on the fence of like, if it's like, if it's good or bad because bonus item, so. Uh, we'll do that later. I'll do that later off camera. Um, yeah, like I just, uh, like I said, 600 per character. That's how much we were, we were able to earn. And this is like reduced from before because we were able to earn a lot more than just 600 um, per character, I should say. So yeah, I want to see if they nerfed us even more for Bright Dust because I can definitely see them doing that, um, which is very unfortunate, but yeah it is what it is i'm tired of complaining about it because quite frankly i think it's stupid but yeah let me know what you guys think hopefully like i said i'm probably gonna do that by the end of the week i mean i kind of have to but we'll see i also don't like the shaders uh this this looks terrible in my opinion but we'll get to that when we get to that so for 801 dark amelon i'm not the biggest fan of this shader i'm gonna be honest with you guys um yeah, I don't really care for it to be quite honest. I mean, I can I've seen people do some cool things with it, but I don't care personally for it. I do like the other shader though because it does have a really cool like um, effect, not effect, but like an engraving. Mad Monk, I love Mad Monk uh, specifically because it's a really good black for your cloak. I mean, in the in a in the day and age that we have super black, it doesn't really matter now. That being said, I still have Mad Monk in the back of my pocket because super black is. A very dark black but not like the best black because there's certain blacks in the color that like for me for example i like this black for a lot of other pieces compared to super black where it's like very dark almost like a i forget what that color is but but it's like a suit like not super black but like ultimate ultimate black or some shit where it's like so dark that it's almost blue kind of like, that's why i think of super black new mark new monarchy succession which i yeah i think this one it see okay yeah this is a good one the bad one would be the uh not season because it wasn't a season but uh war mine the war mine shader is terrible this one's pretty decent i de would definitely tell people to pick this one up and then for the armor they're all right here i won't talk about the armor too much because i we see it a lot and i kind of want to get to other things but i would just recommend all the pieces honestly and this is not me copying out i genuinely do recommend all the pieces for all the classes because this is uh destiny one armor in destiny two so i just would recommend people just to pick the armor up because again you might never know when some of these pieces are going to be really cool let me know which, which pieces you guys are going to be picking up i'll give you some time to see so that way you guys can look at it some a bit more
As for Eververse, I did go over all of the Eververse items in this video. So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can definitely actually, I don't know if this one's going up or not. Either way, I've already made the Eververse video. If it's not up yet, it will be up later. So if you guys want to check that out, definitely check it out because we go through all of the things that this season has to offer. Not season, this I'm going to call it season. I don't want to episode, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. All of the things that are here, we go through all of the classes and yeah, there's a lot of really cool things in there. So we are looking at long journeys. This is the new shader that just dropped, or at least I didn't have it. This is season of the wish. Can no? I think so. Either way, uh, this, this is a shader I didn't have personally, not a big fan of it just because it's brown silver. And I feel like I've seen that shader in multiple times, but you might never know when it comes in clutch. Uh, Coleopetra, Col which, yeah, it kind of looks like the same as the other one, but this one has uh, more copper in it, I feel. Uh, we have Intrepid Discovery Grips for the Hunters. I just realized I didn't look at the Warlocks or Titans for their pieces, um, but you'll I'll show you right now which pieces are those for the Titans and Warlocks, so that way I don't forget. So let's go here. It should be the one at the bar. It is. So Intrepid Set. Oh, shit. T Titans, you need to pick this one up. I, I, I crutch on these hard. These are one of my favorite pieces for the Titans. Definitely pick it up. I'll probably add it in later for the Eververse set because I definitely think this is really good. Or I'll probably just put this here, put this uh, segment so that way you guys can see it because uh, Intrepid Inquiry Gloves are not as good uh they're asymmetrical this side is like almost uh like like a button-up shirt sleeve and then armor so this one's not as good but you guys do have some good pieces the chest piece is super dope i think the boots are super dope and that's pretty much it uh hunters i think the chest piece is super dope boots are super dope arms are cool Je helmet is really cool i even like the cloak uh and i say that because the cloak can look a little too big for it with some pieces and then Titans, uh, help. the helmet's super cool. I think the arms, super dope. One of my favorite pieces. Chest piece, one of my favorite pieces. Boots, decent. And the Mark, one of my favorites as well. I say the boots are decent because they're basically just a reskin of this right here. Or I'm in the wrong section, actually. Um, it's right here, I'm stupid. Uh, these right here, uh, some of the blues and stuff. It's just a reskin of that, so that's why I say like it's okay. It's not bad. It's just I've, you've seen it before. So that is pretty much it for that armor set. Definitely pick some of those pieces up. We have <clears throat> dance off. <clears throat> the stuff at the bottom. We have gilded cage. I definitely think this one's cool, but it's not my favorite. Um, Acolyte's Ambition for the Hunters, which is definitely super cool. Definitely pick it up. It's really, really good. Um, Titans. Let's actually go so that, that way I can show you guys which is which. Because Titans, you guys ended up getting one a really good one as well. It's going to be uh, Lorelei Splendor Helm. One of my favorite ones, too. This one right here. I'm not even going to try to attempt to say that because I can't say that. But this is really cool definitely pick this one up it's so so cool and you can change like turn off that glow if you fuck i can't hmm. Let's see if i can find it i don't like the changes to this just because we've had the shader icons for so long that to change it now it's just like why are you doing this i can't even find it um all right chin Oh no, they fucked it up. No, Chidden Slay used to turn this off. <sighs> Hold on. That's not good, guys. Um because it used to just turn it off. This is gonna fuck all of my all all of all of my fashion is gonna be fucked because of that. Mmm, actually, you know what? Um now i'm actually concerned let's go to warlocks real quick i just want to check this out real quick um where is it where 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 where, where is it where is it damn really dog okay so i want yeah it's right here okay, let me see let me see if this doesn't turn off this is gonna be oh fuck, that's right i have to be on my warlock all right 
I'll check it and then I'll have it somewhere that if it worked or not because if that doesn't turn off warlocks you guys got dicked hard because man you know what dude <sighs> if chit and slate doesn't turn shit off anymore I'm gonna be really mad um warlocks your exotic ornament is gonna be this one right here for the dawn chorus which is one of my favorite ornaments because it looks fucking cool that being said um i understand if you wouldn't want to pick it up because dawn chorus isn't really used um that being said i still fuck with it heavily because it looks really cool I'm a little concerned my guy i'm a little concerned that they just were like oh this is gonna have the glow all the time now which is gonna devalue this this or this shader a lot so that's very unfortunate if that's the case um let's go back to the store so then we have rapid response which is a chunky shape or a ship very chunky we have wasteland racer which i'm definitely thinking about picking this up because it does look really really cool we have all done we have bailing water we have ghost purple for the transmit effect we have tiger effects and then reef oracle for the last one for the shaders we have groovadelic which is a new one um this from this season so if you want to pick it up definitely pick it up i'm i picked it up just because i always pick up the shaders but i'm gonna be honest i don't think i'm gonna use this a lot we have growing guilt we have rustberry and then last but not least golden age of wine so that is pretty much it for the weekly things i man i'm be honest with y'all i don't know how to feel about a lot of these things i think i think the pathfinder is a really cool idea if they retain the amount of bright dust we usually get because if they if they chit like skip out of that that's going to be really rough for people that usually are just getting bright dust like bright dust warriors if this gets nerfed again i'm gonna be kind of mad because like it's it, it's it gets worse so i'm definitely gonna try to do all of these within the week so that way i can see how much this is gonna be because i don't know if this is a weekly um account bound or character bound if it's can't if it's account bound it's gonna be even worse because i definitely don't think they're gonna give us the amount that three characters would do i think they would only give us one character because that's the that's what they would do but i will definitely test that out i also want to farm some onslaught because i definitely need to get some of the weapons because i didn't get them i don't really care about the shinies to be fair um even though a part of me does kind of care but at the same time i'm like whatever's on it so i'm excited to see this we will definitely go and see this definitely see the season pass as well because there are some big changes there which is probably the video i'm going to do next so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all let me know what you guys think about the expansion so far other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later